So that kind of controls it and acts like a stopper. Maybe one to the front as well. But like I said, I'm going to try it on first and see. Hello, if you've been to my channel before, you know what to expect. But if you're new, I'm Colleen G. Lee, here to help inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. Towards the end of my videos, I like to give some advice and tips on the project you're working with. And I also provide the links to sewing tutorials in the description. So it's advisable to click on those and let's get started. This is a t-shirt I am going to be refashioning and I like the fact that I am going to be playing around with the wording that's on there to create my own kind of texture and graphic on my shirt. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need are, you know, it's going to be scissors. No, it wasn't the on picker at this stage. For now, we're just going to remove the bottom of the t-shirt the hem so cut quite closely towards that but don't cut the stitching that's going to be key for this because that's what's going to be threaded through in order to create that reaching effect so I'll bring the camera down so that you can see how I do it I'm going to start by cutting just into the side seam here make a nip make a little snip I should say and then start cutting. So you just want to make sure you, that you're keeping the overlock stitch, you're not cutting into that. Then just cut really close to that edge all the way around. Just take your time. And then we're going to just cut like so. So making sure I've got this side seam as flat as possible, side that I want to cut. Okay, so I'm creating a shape from under the arm all the way around like so. So I'm going to need some chalk. So I'm going to start here. I'm just going to freehand this. You can use a French curve if you prefer or if you just want to freehand it like I'm doing that's fine. Use the marker that you prefer. My go-to marker is usually always a chalk. Yeah, that should be okay. Oh, before I go ahead, if, you, if you've if got a t-shirt that's too big, I do have a video tutorial on how to make your t-shirt smaller. So you can make it smaller before actually attempting to do this technique. And then all I need to do then is then just cut that out. So let's go ahead and cut. shape I'm looking for so so we have a nice curved shape here the next thing and this is going to be about personal choice is whether you want to finish off the hem of the t-shirt so you can do what was there before you can turn it back and do a double stitch on top and that will help it stop from curling because it does curl a bit has a mind of its own or you can just leave it raw I'm going to leave mine raw yeah I'm going to leave mine raw I don't mind that at all Next step is then to turn the t-shirt to the wrong side and we're going to create a casing. Say about that much. We're going to create a casing. It really depends how. Be about 2.5 centimeters. About an inch, thereabouts. Could even be smaller as well or even bigger and 
put a few pins in just to make sure that you're creating a nice stitch when you come to do it and to stop it from curling as well. The pins will help. So I'm going to keep on doing that all the way around and then I take it to my sewing machine and then sew that into place. and I've stitched all the way around this is the right side and that's the wrong side on the inside next step is to get your cord and a safety pin a safety pin close it up and then thread that all the way so you're just funneling it into that casing until you get to the other end And again, it's come through the other end. Just keep pulling until I've got it all in there. That's that seam which you may find a bit tricky to get in there, but it will go. There we go. There we go. Remove the safety pin. And there we have it. It is now done. So it's just a case of positioning the this root gathering effect to where you want it to be. Don't want so much. I want most of it to be around the wording for me. Not so much at the bottom, at the front. So this is a front, so I'm not going to have it too much gathering down there at the moment. Anyway, I need to try it on to see if that's okay. Not too much under the arm. And it's just a case of evening it out until you like the effect that it gives. That's nice. And keep most of the gathers in at the back for the moment. Let me see how it looks when I actually try it on. But I'm liking the effect of that, that looks really nice. So if I, want, if I don't want it to gather too much or lose the gathering effect, I can always put a knot at the end here. So that kind of controls it and that's like a stopper. Maybe one to the front as well. But like I said, I'm gonna try it on first and see what that looks like. Mm. 
this is the result. That's a nice curve. You can even make it go a lot further if you wanted to, you know, it's your choice. But I like that. I like what's happening. This is back side and the other side. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. That's nice. Asymmetrical design. Yeah, I probably, when I get an opportunity to wear this, I might wear it with a white cami, a white camisole top underneath. Then that might work. Um, but yeah, I did like that. Well, that is a cute t-shirt. So this is what you can do with your old t-shirts. You don't need to get rid of them. You can reinvent them and create something just amazing and stunning that you'll enjoy wearing for another few more years. So that's the object of my channel now is to get you to refashion your old clothing, whether the clothing that you bought or clothing that you've actually made. Consider refashioning. Anyway, um, tips and advice. Tips and advice that the curved edge, you can also do a cover stitch on that if you wish. It really is up to you. Um, it can be smaller, it can be bigger. Um, the, the smaller it is, the more defined it will be. The bigger it is, depending on the cording that you're threading through it, um, it will be a lot flatter. So do bear that in mind. Just, just play around on the scrap. You can also practice on the little bit that was cut away. Um, experiment on that. Like I said, you can finish off the hem if you wish. Um, you don't even have to cut the hem away. You can actually just start off by cutting your curve and maybe you've got some cord laying, cord laying around um, or some old t-shirt and then you can just you know funnel that into the casing and it just be as effective. Um, if a t-shirt is too big, then I do have video, a video tutorial on how to make your t-shirt smaller, so you can do that. Don't make it too small though, you don't want it too fitted. Um, so, and finally, let's see, so I've talked about the cording and the rooching where you can actually do the cover stitch. No, I think it's it's a good project, it's a good basic beginner project that has a good impact. It really looks as though there's more involved than what really is involved and that's what I like about it, especially if you're a beginner, it really will um, encourage you to refashion a lot more t-shirts in the same style. What you could also do is also do this with a shorter effect of a t-shirt and also a longer one. The longer one would be quite interesting to do actually. Hmm, I might try that myself. So please give it a thumbs up and please do share with your friends on, on your different social media platforms. And if you've got any comments or queries, please put those in the comment box below and I will see you next time.